हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल इंडियन स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स सो आई हैव कम अप विद अनदर अमेजिंग प्रॉब्लम्स इन फिजिक्स विच इज़ कॉल्ड एज फोल्डिंग ए ट्राइंगलर चार्ज प्लेट एज यू कैन सी इन द नेम बाई द वे इट इज़ एन ओरिजिनल प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स डिस्कस दिस आई होप यू एन्जॉय इट सो हेयर इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम सो एज यू कैन सी इट्स रिटर्न हेयर A uniformly charged right-angled isosceles triangular plate ABC having a uniformly distributed charge Q is folded about line BD as shown. In the process, work done by the agent is W. What will be the work done by the agent if the new charge plate is given one more fold as shown in the figure? What will be the work done by the agent in nth fold? And uh, also, we have to calculate the total work done up to n folds so this is the statement of this problem as you can see here there is a isosceles right angle triangle of side length l and there is a line bd this blue color line bd about this we are folding it so we are obtaining another uh, plate now after folding this point a and point c are going to coincide okay so next time this folding is happening about uh, this line as shown in this diagram and after that b c and a all these points will be coinciding in this process how much work we have to uh, we will be doing as a agent that we have to find in terms of this work done given w so let's discuss this uh, problem first uh, we will discuss about the concept part so here it may not be possible to calculate this actual work done value in the first uh, process but in terms of this w we can calculate rest of the answers so as you can see for any charge object we can write this uh, self energy self potential energy as kq square by l that is going to be the dimensional formula and where c is a constant which is a number okay so that number depends on the geometry if it was a shell we will have another uh, number here but it will be in terms of kq square by some distance parameter in this case so let's proceed here so when we are uh, making this first fold and in that process this work done is uh, w so we can directly say this work done will be nothing but change in potential energy finally potential energy minus initial potential energy so here directly we can uh, say using this uh, formula of uh, self energy it's kind of uh, dimensional analysis or you can say scaling method so initial potential energy we are writing as c k q square by l where c is a number which depends on the geometry since geometry remains same here so that constant is going to be same and total charge on the plate is also same but earlier what was l has now become l by root 2 so in the formula also that number remains same because geometry is same total charge remains same and what was earlier l has become l by root 2 so this uh, w agent 1 this first uh, w we can write it as u final minus u initial or it is u2 minus u1 so on substituting the value we are going to get this w as root 2 minus 1 c k q square by l where c is a number depending on the geometry of this body so let's further proceed when we are giving this second fold in that process this uh, work done i'm calling as w agent 2 this is what we have to calculate in first part so we'll be using one more time the same formula here u3 will become c the same constant due to geometry k q square by l instead of l now this will become l by 2 here so u3 becomes c k q square by l by 2 so w agent 2 i can uh, write as u3 minus u2 so on substituting the values i'll be getting this as uh, root 2 times root 2 minus 1 c k q square by l where this term is actually the w so our first answer is going to be root 2 w first answer is going to be root 2 w let's move to the next part they are asking how much work has to be done in nth fold 
So we'll try to form a series here in order to get this answer. So for the third fold, we can write this uh, simply. This work done is going to be, which is uh, W agent 3. It is going to be U4 minus U3. So again, we are going to substitute these uh, values. Now that length becomes L by 2 root 2 after one more fold. So U4 minus U3 on simplification, it is going to give us root 2 times W agent similar to previous method which uh, I can write as uh, root 2 times root 2 w okay then for uh, fourth fold similarly I'll be writing it as uh, uh, root 2 multiplied by root 2 multiplied by root 2 times w so when fourth I'm writing here three times uh, root 2 w is coming so similarly for nth fold I can write this work done work done by agent in nth fold it will be root 2 times root 2 times root 2 times we'll keep repeating it up to n minus 1 terms I hope you are getting this idea times w so which I can rearrange and I can write it as 2 to the power n minus 1 by 2 times w this is the answer for second part for us let's move to the next part of uh, this question where they are asking us about total work done up to n folds so w total will become w plus root 2 w plus 2 w plus 2 root 2 w and so on and uh, the last term is going to be nth for nth part nth folding this work done is 2 to the power n minus 1 by 2 times w this we have calculated in the previous part so it's a gp so sum of uh, n terms of gp i can write as a times r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1 where r is uh, the ratio of second and first term which is greater than one in this case and a is the first term here it's a standard formula so this w total i can write as uh, w times root 2 to the power n minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 this is going to be the answer for uh, third part so i hope you have enjoyed this problem it involves a different type of uh, approach so if you have liked this uh, video, please uh, like it, share it with the other teachers and uh, students and uh, make sure you are subscribing my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.